Number 177 in Indicator's range is iMonster. I was really excited about this announcement because it's an amicus movie I hadn't seen and it stars Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing. What could possibly go wrong? Well, there's some things. This is basically Jekyll and Hyde. You get a character of Marlowe who is a doctor who's working on a serum bear with me, uh, and he injects himself, turning himself into the character of Mr. Edward Blake, a, a, a man who is, uh, well, you know the Jekyll and Hyde story, I don't need to reiterate it, and this movie is really strange for me on a couple of fronts because the production value is outstanding, it looks amazing, uh, the sets are, are, you can almost reach out and touch them and they feel textured and elaborate and I love that. We've got Peter Cushing, who's always exceptional, and we've got Christopher Lee giving quite possibly one of the best roles I think I've ever seen him deliver. And it has this unique camera work, which I, I kind of like. There's a moment where um, Christopher Lee is talking within a men's club and the camera moves around its patron, still keeping Lee as its focus, but passes by Cushing, and it's just a really nice artistic directorial moment. There's a moment later on where he's in a park and he feels himself turning into Mr Blake and the camera kind of pans behind him by the hand round to the front of his face and it's a nice camera movement. The kind of thing that you don't usually discover in these kind of, of movies but I liked a lot of the way the movie was made. What lets it down is it's just a typical storytelling of Jekyll and Hyde and it doesn't offer anything in the form of surprises. It has one good notion and that is that um, Marlowe turns into Blake and becomes more monstrous each time as he becomes more disfigured each time as it becomes harder to change back each time. But it never quite gets to that captivating state. You kind of roughly know where it's going to go next. You know uh, possibly what's going to happen. And although there are a couple of interesting scenes, it almost seems perfunctory in the way it performs its duties. Which is weird, because it's just basically the storytelling that's letting this movie down. The, the, the story that's so familiar that it doesn't try anything strange to really break the mould of that. Whereas uh, earlier in the Hammer set you had the, the two faces of Jekyll which was a really nicely done adaptation of this that offered a couple of surprises. Like I said Christopher Lee's performance is truly wonderful. Uh, just the way he holds himself, that strange smile that he puts on his face when he becomes Blake is wonderfully done and as he slowly becomes hunched and more monstrous throughout the movie as Blake, it's a really nice turn just as a physical performance. I just couldn't connect with this one. There was something about it that just wouldn't let me latch onto it or enjoy it as much as I could and it was a really quick run time. This offers two cuts of the movie, the standard which is 79 minutes and extended which is... 81 minutes, sorry 75 and 81. I went for the extended and it has a couple of risky moments for the time but nothing to really elevate the movie beyond uh, just average for me. Probably a two and a half, maybe a three out of five for me. It's one I'll go back and revisit again to see if I get anything more out of it but just a little bit taken aback that it was just a, a rather pedestrian adaptation of Jekyll and Hyde. I'd love to know your thoughts on Monster. Let me know in the comment box below. And I'll see you next time. Man V Film.